Hey, what's up, Scott Ball? Camera the Imagination Creation Films, and today we're talking about this. Or, uh, nope, this right here. This is the new Red V Raptor Super 35 in the Wildlife Society of Filmmakers Rhino Gray. Ooh. <laughs> So I was literally running out the door, just literally grabbing and built up the uh, Komodo for a job that is in another town. But then uh, Red releases the new uh, V-Raptor Rhino Edition Super 35. And I, well, you know, I wanted to share what I knew about it. I mean, you've heard Jared talk about it here multiple times on the channel and the live streams, but here's what we know. And it's available now through special dealers like Film Tools, Max Digital, and a couple of others. So if you're interested, act quickly. It is the Rhino Gray version, which is the Wildlife Society of Filmmakers version. Uh, I'm sure it will be later on available uh, in the normal black, but you know, supply chain. So what is it? It is the same brain horsepower of the V-Raptor itself, the, the, the small version, not the XL but you get a Super 35 sensor. And it's not its not the larger than Super 35 like previous Reds, it is a true Super 35, very small sensor. It has the same specs as the V-Raptor VistaVision with two exceptions. Uh, that is the dynamic range is a little bit less and the noise is going to be ever so slightly more in lower light, not in normal light, but lower light because you know, the photo sites are much, much smaller, so you're going to get a little bit noise. But I mean, the V-Raptor version is so incredibly good in low light, it's, it, it's, it's going to be amazing. Uh, all the frame rates are exactly the same as V-Raptor. All the other functionality, everything is exactly the same. The only difference is it's a smaller sensor and ever so slightly less dynamic range. Dynamic range? Yeah, that's see, yeah, I'm doing this live because like I don't have time. Uh, and then a little bit more noise. Uh, how much noise? I don't know, but it would be the the way the way Jared described it is if you compared Monstro to Helium and the difference that you would get in the noise because you could push Monstro a little bit further. So. I don't think that bad. I don't think that bad at all. Just a little bit less or a little bit more noise. Um, it is $19,500. That is phenomenal. It's under 20K for an 8K camera that can shoot 120 frames a second with Red Raw. It's, it's unbelievably cool. Uh, the specs um, I'll post here and here. I mean, it literally is the exact same as the V-Raptor, just the smaller. The sensor size is 26.21 millimeters by 13.82 millimeters. So it's a 29.63 millimeter diagonal. And I have held it. It is, I mean, it is incredibly small when you realize how big or how small Super 35 actually is. Um, it's, it's, it's adorable, but what that does is that's gonna give you that punch, especially for wildlife to get further out. Um, it's kind of nice. Uh, if you're on a budget or you just love Super 35, I'm personally a huge fan of Super 35, although I do think the full frame is, is cool, but I mean, $5,000 less, it is one heck of a deal. Jump on it really quick if you are interested. If you're not, you know, don't, don't worry. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to get more details as we go. Just wanted to get something out for you guys so you would know that the new red V-Raptor Super 35 is finally released in the Rhino Gray Wildlife Society of Filmmakers version, special edition. So yeah, remember to like and subscribe and support me all down below and uh, all, the, all the fun stuff. And uh, as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions. Mm -hmm.